know when someone might push you, when to use your cameras effectively. Things like that. Found you. Got him. Today we're doing an operator guide on how to play at zero in Rainbow Six Siege 2024. So we're going to be going through his loadout and how to effectively use his cameras and how to rank up and win more matches while playing zero. Let's get to it. Starting with the loadout. So you got the SC3000. I like that ACOG. The flash out of vertical grip. Laser, I mean, I like the laser because most of the time you are going to be on your camera. So you're going to be able to want to quick ADS as fast as you possibly can when you are using this gun. So that's why I do like the laser. Uh, you can run the MP7. I would run a laser on that as well. And then, you know, flash shatter magnified. I mean, laser, same situation there. Laser, you want to run a laser if you are going to be moving between angles pretty quickly or beginning on your camera and you just ADS pretty quickly. But uh, no laser if you're going to be playing more angle holding and having your teammates in your cameras. So his pistol, I love the way that Zero holds his pistol, but the pistol and the GON-6, sometimes you need to bring a GON-6. This kind of goes in, you know, depending on the situation, you can bring a pistol or you can bring the GON-6. Most of the time you are going to bring the GON-6 though because it does help clear utility. And then the difference between the hard breach charge and the Claymore, it really depends on what you plan on doing throughout the round. Claymore, if you want, you know, a little bit of reassurance, of, you know, when you're on your cameras that people aren't going to push you and run out on you. Harbor charge, if you are going inside the map and you do need to open up a hatch or, you know, using the cameras for flank, watch, etc., and you need to open a hatch. So that's the loadout. Let's have a word from our sponsor today, Into the AM. So we're going to be going through Into the AM's graphic tees and talking all about Into the AM real quick. Let's get to it. So going through Into the AM's website, you can go to the best sellers. You can scroll through and find any tees that you want. I mean, there's some good stuff here. I mean, here, here's the one that we're wearing today. It's like Cyberpunk Samurai. Love it. You can get three graphic tees for $61.95, three basic tees for $52.95. Uh, Using my code SENVAIL10, you can get 10% off your order. So here's the best sellers. You can go to tees, you can go to sales. If you're looking to save some money, they have 80% off clearance. You can get some tees that are like $10, $16.99. I mean, honestly, not too bad. And I actually love the designs. I'm going to be wearing these shirts on stream pretty often. So uh, hit them up, guys. Make sure you use my code, SENVILLE10, for 10% off your order. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, now let's go through Zero's ability, the Argus camera. So this is context, but the Argus camera. So shoot a camera like that. That's how it appears to everybody. It will have a flashing light when you are activated. You can press space bar to pierce through to look to the other side. You can even use this on ceilings. Like so, I mean, you can watch from underneath, push it up and watch from above on the floor. Honestly, really useful. And they do come with a laser. So if you are like, you know, wanting to get the camera or your utility in the bottom right, you can see how fast the laser comes back. We are trying to get multiple bits of utility. It's not necessarily bad. Let's say that wall is banded or something. I can come up underneath, shoot a cam like that, go under, pierce it from above and shoot it, shoot the bandit off. Now going through a normal round at zero with the Argus camera. So honestly, he is one of the only operators that is going to have access to six cameras. So you can use this for multiple different things. So I do have two drones. I'm gonna join on my entry, join on the hallway for the blue flank, as well as the main flank. I can drone up, drone through bar, make sure that's all clear. Join up library so I know I can go in underneath. Quick check of bottom blue. Remember, Intel is, can be old if, if you are taking too long to drone. I'll go in, my gun up. I'll shoot a cam up top. I'll shoot a cam in short. Run over here, have my gun up again, because you never know if someone does want to walk up that bottom entryway. Shoot a camera, probably like so. And then from this position, I have cam set for every flank. Good to go. I can even watch the IV walk. And from here, I can just position myself like so. Shoot one underneath. I'll show you guys what that looks like over here. Just get like a bandit or a K-cloth. 
doesn't really show through the floor until you actually activate it. So see how you can't see it through the floor yet. Whenever I want to activate it, it'll punch right through just like that. You know, if the defender is not really paying attention, I can just zap it really quick as they punch through. Get the claw up. And if I have a harbor charge, I can open up the wall. Or, you know, if there's a support player, open up the wall. I'll come up, play top blue. While just kind of checking my cameras while they open up the wall. Waiting for a flank to potentially happen. If that doesn't happen, I'll push in through library with the breach open and uh, get some kills. So you bank as well before we do some zero gameplay. So here I brought Claymores. Claymore for the hop out. Claymore for the hop out. Shoot a zero cam inside. So I can see the lobby. And I can also just shoot the camera like that if you forget. So boom, just like that. We'll get on a repel. Never use your entire mag to shoot open an entire window just in case someone does decide to hop out. You'll be good to go. So then I'll shoot more cameras inside like this and I'll be pretty safe while I do it. They're not going to shoot all these cameras in the middle around, especially with the window presence. There are going to be more value in their life. They may shoot one or two cameras, but I will have a ton of intel on everything in sight, just like this. I also have a lobby. If this is shot, well, I have another drum that I can just drive in to watch my lobby and I can work the windows with my team who's pushing from square. Pretty simple zero shot here. Another zero play on Oregon. I'll drone out dorms. I'll jump on top of the van, run over. I'll drone out dorms with my normal zero, with a no normal camera. I'll shoot a zero cam like so. I'll shoot one in like this. And I'll use a hard recharge like this. And one crouch so they can't be really under it. I actually do want to walk in there. Running out to the breach. Checking my camera. See if anybody's close. If no one's close, I can walk in with my gun up. Check the camera and trophy just to see if anyone is close. Listen to the audio. See if anyone's in that corner. Pushing in. My gun up. Watch the angles as I go in. Shooting more zero cameras inside. One in attic will probably get shot, but if it doesn't, you're going to have plenty of intel. You know, well, you can do this later in the round when you actually do plan on making a move. So like, I'll be able to see, okay, if it was an attic or not, so I can push in or I can, you know, call out to a teammate. This one is really good because it's probably not going to get shot unless they do walk through there. You can even put one there. So like, you know, they physically can't shoot unless they're literally walking around in front of the breach, which you're going to be able to refrag pretty easily. Zero cams are really useful. It's just that you really need to know how to vocalize the information off your zero cameras, as well as acting off that intel instead of it just being dead intel and you being you know really slow to the push all right now let's break down some zero gameplay so here i'm spawning cafe spawn always check the spawn kills always 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 see that window open look at my crosshair not much that guy can do there i push in cigar is clear i see that no one's top white so using your intel off their zero cameras you literally have Basically infinite intel, so there's no reason not to use it. Shoot a camera top white just to see, okay, well, white's clear. I can just walk down this hallway. No one's there. So I walk down. I don't care in the world to see my teammate. I pull my pistol out, and I just wait on the staircase. I pull my pistol out in close range engagements like this because with the slow ADS speed now, it uh, with an AR, with an ACOG, it, this could be an interesting weird, weird little firefight, but with a pistol, fast ADS speed is 20 bullets. It's all I'm really going to need for a staircase fight. Take him out. Same spot, cafe. We walk down the hallway, we find the dock. Takes a couple shots, but you know, this gun is a body shot weapon. It does so much damage to a body shot. So now we're on skyscraper. I shoot a camera. Shoot a camera in dragon. I shoot another one because I think that one was shot just to see deeper. I don't see the one in dragon, so I know that the dragon swing is going to be clear, but there could be one to my right. So it's not about clearing every angle with the zero cameras. It's about clearing as many angles as I possibly can before I take engagement. So I clear that, I check left, and we do win the firefight out. Because again, I knew there had to be physically one side. 10 health, so now I shoot one top house just to kind of watch the flank for a little bit, see if Kibera is going to run up on me. Doesn't really happen, so I push over to top black. I don't see anybody in the hallway. I run over to the diffuser and Cav is really watching the staircase there. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, she had no idea we were there and we do take her out. Nothing crazy. So I'm on clubhouse, use a gone six, open the hatch. I drop pretty fast. 
Walking down the hall. We find the rook, take him down. In a weird rotate. Not really sure what's going on here. Checking for an enemy who's probably going to be near gym. I don't find him. And then I do. Always swinging with your crosser up. Now, I have a teammate on the Lodgy hatch, so I know the Lodgy's probably clear. Where is an enemy going to be in this situation? He's not a master. He's not in gym. He's not in bathroom. Probably going to be coming to the main staircase, right? Just process of elimination. And there he is. Ooh, with the round. So here, shoot a zebra. I put a hard breach charge on the VIP wall and skyscraper. I shoot a camera into the floor. Teammate sees it. I'm oh, sorry, an enemy sees it, but I still get the mute jammer off. So now the wall gets open, even with the mute jammer on the wall. Oh my God. A little old bow. Nothing too Look great today. Bolo. So now we're cafe. He does shoot the camera before I really see him, but with that white trail, I can tell where he's at. He's your pixel. I mean, just look look at my screen right now where the bullet came from. It was clearly from pixel. So I know that he's by pixel. Go upside down and repel. This gun shreds. And we just swing it and take. Guy tries to swing out, trying to get me while I repel in, but ACOG, this gun with 800 fire rate is no joke. Now we're zero on consulate. Shooting flank cams. I hear someone nearby. I know he's not VIP because I had a camera there. We do find him. That's the biggest thing that I do with Zero is using the cameras to just isolate the angle. So I know where the firefight is going to come from. Check the hatch. We see one hiding under the red car, which is a little weird. We drop. We find another. Thorn swings out. We killed four this round. I'm looking for the fifth. He's in the back because he killed one of my teammates. And we do find him. Killing everybody. Ball, baby. Back on consulate. Drop the yellow skylight. We find the Wamai. I hear an enemy close to the window. I'm not too confident where this guy is. It could be a pixel, could be by the window. I know those come in and throws a flashbang. Runs in and don't be the guy that just watches your teammates running. This is what I see a lot of zero players do. They're trying to play off their cameras too too much. If your teammates running in, that is active intel for you right there. He does go kill the guy CEO, so I try to swing out to try to watch his flank. Enemy shoots me from top yellow and look at my cross right here. I mean, Thorn goes down just like that. So in this round, we do uh, Amaru rush with yings and we get the plants off so i repel back to the roof i was on the window helping cover with cameras so i repel the, to the roof i gone six the window open skylight near spiral so two before now i swing in from the flank take down one i find a second and we find the third winning the round gotcha, bitch. so they don't reinforce the hatch we take him out i see another one Find them both. I think here I also am going to drop the hatch. Trying to see if I can find anybody else on the angle. You see one. Beat shots to kill. And we find the Mel. And then we get shot in the back. So again, Skyscraper. I love this camera setup on Zero. I'll shoot the camera early. Give myself plenty of time. Looking around. You can see that castle is clear as day. He's castled off, so no one can swing from house. There can only be one near T side, and then you see the castle clearly on the window. So we just walk around the corner, free fire, easy money. Check the camera to see if anybody is pushing up. Nobody's pushing up, so I know that there could be one to my right. He is to my right, but we jiggle it, and we take him out. All right, zero again. We just love this window on Skyscraper. I love fighting it. I love taking it. So I don't shoot a camera, I just want to drone for a second just to kind of see what's going on. I see one on the angle. You see him sticking his head out. Jiggle shot. Then I shoot my camera. So this is actually the next round. Same camera in the same spot. So you see that mute with the shotgun right there. I'm trying to figure out how we want to fight this guy. He throws the nitro. I'm not really sure what he's doing, but I know that he's distracted, so this is why I jump in. Jumping in pre-fire, and we do win the firefight. 
Waiting for distractions, waiting to strike. It's all about timing when you are using zero. Find the intel, find find the timing, find the gap, and then push on right through. I hear someone close this door. He's getting demo, so he's in danger. I thought he might be prone, but we do win it out. All right, that is it today on how to play a zero. Zero is a really interesting op. He's not the best at really anything, but he basically can do every job in the game. He can be flank watch, he can be an entry. He can, you know, be a hard breach if you so choose. He can do a little bit of everything. That's why he's picked so often in like the solo queue because I'm gonna have plenty of intel. I can open up anything I need to and I can clear utility. And you have a really good gun, you know, to boot. So honestly, really good, really fun operator to play with a team or by yourself. Can't really go wrong. Zero is just a really good operator and you know, highly suggest giving it a try. And that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like down below for more. Let me know what operator you guys want to see next time. Peace out.